Out of the Blue, proudly brought to you by San Remo. Another surprise! Out of the blue. You want that with fries? Out of the blue. Come with me across the sea. Out of the blue. You want some chili with those fries? Out of the blue. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Out of the Blue, still along the coastline of the beautiful Italian Riviera. Three places we're looking at today Alassio, Porto Maurizio, and Imperia. And on today's show, I talked to Davide about the magnificent citrus garden at Villa Pergola. Mm. They're really good. Oh. And we cook a recipe using a very special ingredient. Oh. But first, we head over to Alessio to chat with Jacqueline. Jacqueline, hi. Look, tell me a little bit about the history of Alessio. Well, this little town, uh, most people were living by fishing for coral. Mm. Then, of course, the coral banks ran out, so they started fishing for tuna fish. But uh, when there wasn't enough here, they went to Sardinia. Then uh, there was a very bad storm. This was about the end of the 1700s, a very bad storm, and all the boats sank and they wiped out the whole fleet. Gee. So they had to come back and start all over again and build new boats and make fishing boats. About 1870, the Queen Victoria at that time had a lot of the armed forces in India. Yes. Some of them, the old generals, etc., were going to retire. So England was cold and damp. Yes. They didn't particularly want to go to England. So they came looking around this part here, and a couple came to Alassio and they thought it was very mm. nice. They looked nice around, climate. nice climate, mm. it's peaceful. Um, there's always something going on. Now, one of the things I've heard about this beautiful town is it's got a, a unique wall. Yes. What's that about? Yes, indeed. Jacqueline, please tell me about this interesting wall. Now, this has got a very amusing story because uh, Ernest Hemingway came here to Alassio 1956 and he frequented that cafe over there, which is the Cafe Roma. Together with Yona, they were looking out of the window one day and they saw this rather ugly wall in front of them. And Hemingway said, well, you could put a few tiles on there to make it look better. So they had our ah, idea. We'd get all sorts of famous people to sign the tiles and put them up and cover the whole wall. It started with just a handful of tiles and now there are about getting on for 600. So there are writers, uh, artists, sports people, all kinds of, anybody famous. What about these two? Like uh, now you see, Alassio is known as the sweetheart's town mm -hmm. because when you come to Alassio, you fall in love. After the break, we visit Villa Pagola for citrus and spaghetti. One of the things I really love about Italy are their glorious and wondrous gardens. I've got a beauty for you today. David is going to show me around Villa Pagola. David, where are we heading to now? Now we're going to visit the citrus collection. How many trees would be in that collection? The collection, 30 different varieties of citrus. 30? 30, yeah. Ah, uh, David, I can see something we very rarely see on a tree, but in the shops, the finger lime. 
Yes, it is. It's a, a hand of Buddha. It's an old quality of cedar, was born by a malformation. We have the finger of fruit uh, without flesh, only peel. It's really sweet to peel for candied, for marmalade, for salad, yes. And it's used as a gift for Buddha divinity. Mm. So it looks like a divinity that. hand. Oh, I know this. <laughs> yeah, this is Kinotto. Oh, Kinotto, I... it's um, one of the typical products of Liguria. It's cultivated in a, in a little city of Liguria, Savona. And uh, by this fruit, the flesh of this fruit, <laughs> it's used to produce um, a soft drink. Uh, sweet and bitter and a little bit sparkly. Mm. It's, uh, where, really... does, where does the color from the drink come from? It's uh, from uh, the color of the, f of the flesh of the fruit. Oh, yes. it, it ferments or something. Yeah. That's beautiful. Mm. <laughs> it's a really good. <gasps> Davidy, most people in Australia have got one, maybe two wisteria. Yes. How many have you got here at the villa? <laughs> we have tr uh, 32 different varieties of wisteria, <laughs> yes. This one looks quite vigorous. How big are the flowers here? <laughs> this one is really, really uh, peculiar because the flower is mm. really, really long, one meter. <laughs> How big? <laughs> one meter, yes. One meter? Yes. It the is. flower, the race. Yes, yes. What colour? It's a uh, um, blue with a little white tip to it. I take a cutting now. <laughs> I <laughs> take back to Australia. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just a joking. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. Very good. Thank you very much. Oh, what a visit. You're welcome. Alessandro, I've had the wonderful pleasure of walking through the garden here at Villa Pergola. Tell me about the history though. Yes, Villa della Pergola was uh, a British home uh, in Alassio. You know, Alassio uh, had um, big British colonies for more than 100 years. It was um, built in the mid of the uh, 19th century by General MacMood, a Scottish general. He fought it during the Crimean War and in India and Afghanistan. And when he decided to retire, uh, he came uh, in Alassia and uh, he see this wonderful uh, place. And he decided to build this building uh, in an Anglo-Indian style. You know, there, there is the dome with, uh, yes. m with the colored majolica. There is something uh, who suggests uh, his uh, Indian period. The property remained British till the 80s of the last century, mm -hmm. so for a long, very long, long period. The property was completely restored and uh, the garden was restored by architect uh, Paolo Peirone. You get a wonderful sense of relaxation, yes. of tranquility. This was uh, the point. Yes. This is a place of uh, relax, beauty. Uh, it's a wonderful thing. Now, I know also people come here for the food, and I of understand you have a very famous chef. Yes, uh, famous chef Giorgio Servetto, and uh, we can go to see his fabulous kitchen. Good morning, Australia. I am Giorgio Servetto, the executive chef of Nove Restaurant. Today I'm cooking for you an easy and tasty Italian recipe, Licata Camudica with Linguine Sanremo. Yep. Anchovy butter, white wine reduction, io ve lo dico lo stesso, tanto lo imparato. Garlic. 
Voilà Smiley Kata Kamudika. Coming up after the break, my mate buys a sizable chunk of kingfish, which we cook on a hilltop. It looks amazing. And this is really perfect for our recipe. These small villages along the Italian Riviera all have their charm and of course their fish markets. Imperia is no exception. Moored along the port is an assembly of fishing boats that sometimes let you buy direct. Can't get any fresher than this. Not my visto così. Later on, I'm going to the fish market, but on my way, I saw this boat offloading its daily catch. And here we are, a beautiful piece of yellow fin kingfish. This is going to be perfect for my next recipe, which I'm going to use olive oil, limoni, tomatoes, all that taste of Italy. On our journey along the Italian Riviera, we have stopped at many beautiful spots. Behind me is the city of Imperia, and you can see there a wonderful mix of the old and the new, just perfect. You know, when you're in a place like Imperia, you can't help but think about the olden days, the Romans, they would have had all their galleons here and go out and war. But today it's all different. All these massive yachts bristling with technology and electronics it's just a whole different world and you can imagine the the income and the people that would come in during the months of summer where they can use all these boats it's just fantastic for the city and they're all shapes and sizes as you can see but hey i wonder what the julius caesar would have thought of that one hey can you imagine him in that hey all to the front men charge Uh, Michele, yes. when I was in Imperia, I went down to Fishing Boat Harbour. Oh. This boat came in and I saw this beautiful fish of Richella, which is like our yellow kingfish. It looks amazing. It's and this is really perfect for our recipe. What would it be, a kilo or something like that? Oh, at least a kilo there. Oh. But Mickey, first I'm going to show you how to prepare it. Okay, where you go? go. This beautiful trunk of a fish, I'm going to cut along the back first. Yeah. I want to take a fillet off. And now I'm just going to do... Mm. Just thin little... Oh, yes. Because we don't want to overcook the fish. No, 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 no. Oh, <gasps> What would you say that was likened to that fish it, in Australia? Kingfish. Kingfish, yes. <gasps> Beautiful. It's lovely. It's a pelagic fish. Mm. There we are, Mickey. Okay. Well How's done. that? Have you learned how to do oh, it? Oh, I, I have. Now, Mickey, you've uh, cut these beautiful fillets. Yep. I've got some oil here. Yes, please. And... Will you put some oil in the pan while I salt the fish? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Always got to salt the fish before you cook it. Okay. So you, we've always got these great sort of tips. Yeah. So we just How gonna, much? That, bit more. Bit more. Bit, bit more. All right. Okay. You've got three different varieties well, of tomatoes. Pomodoro. Of tomatoes. You see the baby rom. And that, are they little romers? They're little oh, baby okay. romers. They're, and look, we can grow them. They're, they're just amazing. Uh, you hear that? To, uh, uh, to grow this time of the year. <laughs> so skin side down. Skin side down. This is Last one. There we are. <laughs> There's none left. Some oil. Okay. So how's that going? Good. You know what I'm going to do? A little bit, mm. something a bit different. Yeah. I've got the fish in the pan. I've yeah. got all the flavour. Yep. Let's put in the ingredients and do it that oh way. Oh my goodness. You happy with that? Here we go. Now the tomatoes first. <laughs> <laughs> put it all, and that way can put all, yeah, all on there you top. Go. Oh, look at me. That's what I love about our cooking show. The plan we worked mm. on for a year. How about we, the olives? We rehearsed this. The this olives? one recipe. Time and time again. And the olives? The olives, no, too. The olives, please. <laughs> and yeah. I the olives. Let's not forget the olives. But also, we've got pine nuts. Now and you the can other, use any olives. You could use calamari olives. Excuse me. You can use calamari olives if you wish. Yep. But we've chosen to stick with those. Now, I've cut up some chilli. I've just put some yeah, chilies in there. Gravel, and a bit of basil. I'm going to put the lid on. Uh, and I reckon about with the garlic 10 minutes. Help? Yeah, oh, a bit of garlic <laughs> would be good too. Hang on. There we are. Fine, no, 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 just a minute, just a minute. Some basil? Yep. Uh, just cutting that off just there. I'm going to tear it up. Bravo. I'm going to put my lid. I'll just get my lid. I've got to get the lid. Right. It was over here. The there lid moved. 
Oh, about seven, eight minutes or thereabouts, it should be ready. It's an easy recipe. There we are, yellowfin kingfish with lemon, olive and tomato. Don't go away. After the break, we cook the recipe on a fishing boat that's a restaurant. There's a wonderful fish market. This special area has a wonderful display of locally caught fish, as Fishing Boat Harbour is right next door. But there's two species of fish that are very popular on the menu. First one is Brenzino. It's a cross between like our local kingfish, and it's a fish that's grilled and just served with lemon and oil, and that's it. And Orata, again, another beautifully fish. It's a bit like our brim or our snapper, but a bit grey in colour. It's hard to make a choice of all this product, what to use for our next recipe. But I found something. It's anchugo, which is anchovies. I'm going to use it, not the way you think. So you've got to watch it. Hey, Mickey, I, uh, I've brought you to another wonderful place along the Italian Riviera. It's Imperia. I mean... Just the name. It does. It inspires, doesn't it? Big Julie. Did it just give you an umbrella? It does. It does. And we're on board a vaca, which is a restaurante e vaca. Well, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. Little seats out the back, and they catch the fish and they cook the fish for you. When I went to the fish market yeah. earlier, yeah. they had fresh anchugo, mm. and then in a tin they had salted anchugo. Oh, so what I they do? That. Yes, they yeah. put the anchovy fillets with the salt mm. in a mesh, mm. and with the way it drains and it gives off its water. And here you are. This is the byproduct, and that's what we're going to use for our sauce. Now, you couldn't go into a supermarket and buy them. No, you couldn't. But no. what, what you can do when you buy anchovy fillets home, use the oil of that oil. Oh. So, But what we need to do first, Mickey... How do you think of all those things? I don't know. Can I have yes. the breadcrumbs? We're going to yes. toast some breadcrumbs mm -hmm. and we're going to also toast, uh, let's say, about a tablespoon, mm -hmm. a tablespoon and a half, and sesame, a bit of oil. Can you give me the oil, mm -hmm. Mickey, please? That enough? Oh no, I keep going. Okay, I'll keep going. No? Bit more. That should do it. Okay. Make sure it's combined. We're going to get a bit of a golden it's combined. colour. Yep. Now, Mickey, how about making the sauce? Now, the, the sauce is interesting, isn't it? Because I've been uh, told how to do it. And one of the first things to do is you get some parsley leaves and you don't throw them mm -hmm. in or in the bowl, you squash them with your thumb. To get out the. Have you, have you no, done no, I've never done that isn't before. That's amazing. That's, so put that in there. Yep. Like that. And and then a, a, a garlic. Yeah, the whole garlic. We just want to get the perfume of the garlic. A bit of, of oregano. Yes. It's the soil oh. of the Mediterranean because oh. the soil is so dry and water. Just a few so, of those like that? Yeah, just enough. And and of course I got for you specially pepperoncino uh, for Michele. With the whole bunch in? Oh, no, sorry. No, 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 they're the flakes. <laughs> put those in there. A few flakes, just okay. Just a, a few flakes, yeah. Not the, too many. Don't, don't want to sort of kill it, do we? No. Nah. Like that. I'm getting the colour now, Mickey. That's toasting. Yes. I reckon that's right. about it. And just a drop or two oh, of lemon. Lemon juice. This is it. We were told one. Uno. Uno drop. Drop. Now, see that lemon? This is going to be very good if I can get uno drop. Or well, maybe two. Hang You're on. Out, Frilla. How you Here we go. One. One. Okay, the olive oil. Yep. Two of these. No, All right, one it. tablespoon. Two. It, two. Two to one. Yep. Okay, right. and I'm going to put in, this is it, the mm. anchovy, anchugo. Do you, do you realise our Italian hosts are watching I oh, know, I know. Oh, no. Give it a good mix. And they're going to say, no, no. <laughs> okay, put in the pasta. We've pre-cooked our San Remo spaghetti. Voila. And we're keeping it nice and hot. You need to keep it mm. hot because mm. that's what's going to be the base of oh. making your sauce. What do you reckon, about that much? No, a little keep bit going, more? keep going. That's, that's not enough for you and I. That's your <laughs> serve. How about my serve? That should do it. Yeah, give it a good stir. Now, Mickey, the uh, last thing you do is just add a, a few of the breadcrumbs and the sesame yeah, seeds. Yeah, just give it a little bit more. Oh, I love sesame seeds. The boat next door is getting ready yeah, to pull out. Yeah, he's going fishing. 
shrimp boats are coming, I mean. there's dancing tonight. <laughs> Well, that's another episode of Out of the Blue from the beautiful uh, Italian Riviera. Did you enjoy that recipe on board the vodka? Is there any left? There's none left. Well, no, that's why I'm giving you insalata di popo patata. It, it was absolute, Michael, it was a, seriously a very simple recipe. But tasty one, wasn't tasty, it? Tasty, so tasty. I, I'm just getting drained, all this beautiful food. I know. Place, I mean, we've got another one to do. I know, I and there's one more, the, the, the main course is yet oh, to come. Right. See you which next is, time. See you next time. Yeah. Don't forget to visit outofthebluetv.com.au for more recipes and info. Out of the Blue, proudly brought to you by San Remo.